Hey everyone, it's Jennifer with stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com and today I want to show you how to make a fork bow. So you can see that you can use uh, any size fork you have. You can even use a hair pick or anything that has prongs like this. Um, so I'm going to use this size. Um, this is just a regular fork, a serving fork, and then actually one of my downline, um, her husband, took a spatula and cut the end off and then rounded those for us. Um, so you can use any size you want, but I'm going to use that middle one. And I'll attach my bow with a glue dot later. Um, and, and that's for cutting my ribbon. So the length of the ribbon is just depending on what size bow you're making. The best thing to do is just play around with it. I like to play around with it from my roll of ribbon so I don't waste anything and figure it out. But this piece is Stampin' Up's Crumb Cake Seam Binding and it's 10 inches long. Uh, that's this ribbon right here. I love it. Okay, so what you're going to do, what you're not going to do is place the ribbon in any of the tines. You're going to wrap it all the way around the fork and make a V. The back part goes down and the front part goes up on your V and make the back part just a little bit longer. Okay, then you're going to grab the back piece of ribbon that's lower and longer and this is the one you're going to work with pretty much the entire time. You're going to Take it up through the center tines and then take that same piece and go underneath everything and through the center tines again. Pull that kind of tight and now you can grab this other loose piece and pull it tight. Be careful at this point that your fork doesn't slide, that your ribbon does not slide off the fork. And then you will just tie this in a knot. You would actually do it facing you. I'm doing this upside down for the video. And when you tie it, it matters what uh, direction these tails are going because that will be permanent. So I want these to go down like a normal bow. So I'm very carefully and slowly tying that and pulling them so that they make a V going down instead of you know one this way, one this way, or whatever, up and down. This is actually the back of your bow. When you pull that off, the front looks like this. It's so awesome. And of course you can then trim your ribbon however needed. I would of course recommend Stampin' Up's uh, ribbon scissors. They are the best scissors for cutting fabric and ribbon ever. $29.95, totally worth your investment. Um, they're just awesome. So there's a fork bow, so easy. Here's a project using a fork bow similar to this one. Um, this project we did at my celebration and spring catalog kickoff. It's a card that opens up with a removable necklace. I didn't tape this one inside so I could show you, but we made a little pocket back there. And so whoever you give this to, you write them a note and tell them that they can remove their necklace. It's just attached with one little glue dot there. Very easy to remove. So that's just a little um, bonus to show you what we made at that class. And on glue dots, just a quick tip, you never want to touch the dot and you never want to do this because when you do that you're exposing all the dots to everything in your work area, your cardstock and so on. So you want to peel this protective coating back until you see one dot, place your embellishment on the dot, and then pull it off and stick that on your project. So I hope this has helped you and I hope you'll make some fork bows and let me know what you think and visit me at samplejennifer.blogspot.com. Thank you.